it's Heather. Um, why am I shouting? What was that? Anyway, hey guys, it's Heather. Team Hall time. Like we got this little one. Then we got this one. Here's a little one. Got this one. This one's heavy. Oh my gosh. What did I get? I love it when you forget what you ordered. I miss the Timu bags, the Timu boxes that we would get. You see your mailman walking up to your house. He's holding that orange package for you. And you're like, <laughs> Timu's here. Well, now they just come like this and it's boring. Come on. Come on, man. All right, let's get into it. We're we're gonna keep the chit chat to a, a a minimum today because um we need to get this going, right? <laughs> You're like, yeah, right, Heather. Like, you not talk. Yeah, right. That's, that's funny. It's funny. All right, you guys. Let's start with this little one. I think we're gonna go little to big. I'm like out of breath. <laughs> I started recording and I had to run downstairs and get something. Then I like got my daughter out, out the door and she's on her way back to college. And then I ran up the stairs and I started recording and she called me and oh, I forgot this. Can you meet me outside? And I'm like, all right. Okay, oh, what's this, what's this? Oh, this one, actually this one's been here for a while. Like a while. Oh yeah, what do you guys think of this? You put on the back of your phone and then it's supposed to hold your phone up with like little suction cups. I don't think I would um, trust tiny little suction cups to hold up a $1,200 phone. Like why did I even buy this really? <laughs> and I don't want to have this weird looking octopus thing stuck to the back of my phone. This was just a mistake just to begin with. <laughs> Why did I get this? I don't know what's wrong with me. And then I got regular band-aids. Why did I get band-aids? Someone wants to say, yeah, but it's, I wouldn't trust that. It's probably not sterile. Well, I, I hate to break it to you, but your band-aids that are in your medicine cabinet now, that's probably where they're from. So, I don't know. I, maybe I was just having like a weird day ordering this stuff, but it's a whole variety of bandages. Now this shape I haven't seen. This is like an oblong one. We'll just get one out and I'll show you. So far it just looks like a regular old friggin' band-aid. But look at this shape. I like that shape. Let's stick it to the back of our hand. We're just gonna test that one out right now. I buy generic Band-Aids. I don't buy like the Band-Aid brand Band-Aids. Um, I just, you know, get the generic ones. These look just like them. Like, I probably wouldn't be able to tell them apart. So, um, except for the cool size. I, I've never seen that size before. I'm easily entertained, okay? And then here's another like crystal growing kit. Green. <laughs> so if you guys watched my recent like, uh, Timu review of the household stuff and I was grow I, I was doing the, the little hedgehog that you soak in that blue solution and he's supposed to grow crystals on his body. I filmed it and then a couple of days later then I posted it. So within that couple of days he hadn't started growing um, any crystals. But on day four and he started to grow little just little bumps like it was just starting. So now it's been about, gosh, seven to 10 days. So I think it's been like 10 days now. And he's grown quite a bit. Look at him, I'm so proud. Look at how much he's growing. But anyway, he's getting there. I'll let him grow a little bit more. See how big it gets. Maybe like weekly, and then we can just kind of check the progress of the little guy to see how well he's doing. This one is a little different. Oh, this one is just like a little, it's like minus the hedgehog. We put our little crystals in here with our warm water, stir it up. 
and then it just kind of grows its own little little crystal little ball crystal i'll have to get that going right away and then we can like watch them grow side by side i'm starting to realize i can't drink coffee after 2 30 and right now it's 2 45 and my bangs keep sticking to my lash glue <laughs> that's fun let's do this little one then we'll get into the bigger ones good things come in small packages you just settle down oh yeah we got good stuff we got this. I am not into like the whole astronaut thing, but I would think like a lot of like kids would be, even adults would be. And this little, like, he's kind of like a nightlight. But they had like a, a lot of these like cool, if I say the word like one more time, it's like, you know, like, like stop. See what I did? Like I said it again. So this little astronaut guy, isn't he cute? Maybe I'll insert a little a little footage of me using him, but he kind of looks like he's um, floating out there without any gravity. Like you can plug him into the wall. He, he's just like a USB. Another thing that this thing does is the helmet. You can flip it on and off. Or you can unclick it and pull it forward. And then it's, you can turn it on and off. Or you can just plug him into your computer and his little face glows. It's so cute, right? You got a little kid, needs a nightlight, staying over at auntie's house or grandma's house or whatever. This I thought was just so stinking cute. Yes, I say cute a lot. There's a lot of cute things in the world. I should look up in a, thes a thesaurus and look up other words that mean cute so then I can like have like five different words. They still mean cute, but I just rotate them. So I'm not making everyone crazy with the word cute. So you've seen it like people are like wearing these, right? Soon as I saw someone wearing these and they're like, they spent like, 200 and some dollars because it was like a designer puff it's a puffy letter uh, initial for your name so what did I get I got an H right because it says, says it right there Heather that's me I don't know who was wearing it if it was like Haley Bieber or whoever someone was wearing someone famous was wearing it and you know they didn't get theirs at Timu or Amazon they paid their little designer price tag for it so then everyone is wanting to copy that so then they say well, go to Amazon you can get it for like 20 and 25 dollars and it's like such a better deal and I'm like well, I can do better than that I'll go to Timo and get it for a dollar 79 and it looks pretty good it might be 279 but you get what I'm saying You can get them in gold or the silver. I may have ordered a couple of different ones because you can get them with and without the rhinestones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Okay, so here's the other one. Let me get that out. This one I actually kind of like a little bit better. This one is like a lot heavier. Like I'm actually like impressed by it. Same kind of thing, but just slightly different, right? Oh, and then you guys know my little shiny bracelets that I just love. They have two sizes. They have them um, in a bracelet and they have it in an ankle one. I get the ankle one because I like them to be a little bit bigger and like free flowing. If I get the bracelet one in this style, um, it's really tight to my, my wrist. You can get gold or you can get silver. Um, so these are those favorite bracelets that I love. And when I wear these, I've told you guys before, I get compliments when I get wear these. So um, yeah, the freaking Timu, man. So here's the thing though, because they're so cheap and they're kind of, they're Timu, um, they do lose their shine very quickly. So I don't wear these, put them on in the morning and take them off at night. Like I only wear these like 
okay, I'm going to film like I need to look cute. So I'll put a few on or if I'm running errands or I'm going to go get my hair done like I'm going out for the day, um, then I'll put them on. Let me grab a couple that have lost their shine and I'll show you the comparison. These ones, they're still cute. You can see they're still shiny. They're still sparkly. Still cute. But when you compare them to the fresh ones, like they still look cute. But when they're this shiny and this sparkly, when they're fresh out of that bag, um, this is when I get compliments. Um, but otherwise, this is we're still cute. You know, we're still cute here. Go get some. Just about every time I, I put a Timo order in, um, if I think of it, I grab a big like 12 pack of these because um, I like to have them on hand and I'm afraid that one day they're going to stop making them. And then what am I going to do? I'm not going to get compliments anymore. I'm just going to be a fart in the wind. No one's really going to notice. Oh, okay, so then when I did do my Timu um, nail haul review, the 10 pack that I put on the first one, um, and then they started breaking right away because I trimmed them down with the little snippers. This little nail snipper, where if you wanna cut your nail down, you put your nail in there, give it a little snip, and it, you can adjust your size. So you should be able to use this and it shouldn't crack your nail, right? Um, I use this all the time and I've never had a problem with it cracking my nails, but it did crack a, the Timu 10 pack nails. So I, I don't want to use this on Timu nails. So then I got this little bit to put on the end of my nail drill and then like, like take down the size like that. It's kind of little. I thought it would be a little bit bigger, but we'll see how well that works. Oh, and then speaking of nail clippers, I got a Timu one. This one is from Kiss. The Kiss one has got a little bit more resistance than this one feels very loose. Weight wise, the Kiss one feels just a little bit heavier. So we'll have to see how well those work. And then um, when I'm editing my videos on my phone, I like to use the stylists. Um, is it a stylist? Is that what it's called? A little stylus? Stylus? Stylist. A stylus. It's a touch screen pen. So it's like a, just a four pack Kind of looks like this one's just a little bit bigger than that side. But I use that and I can do it a lot quicker. But otherwise I'm trying to like touch, grab. But I only have the one. The other day I couldn't find it. So now I want, I want to have a couple extra. All right, what are we doing? What's this? Oh, this is that thing. Oh, this is cool. You can select your font. Your name and address. You make sure they got it right. Yeah, it's right. So then it looks like that. You can. I, they got several different ones that you can pick from. So I just grabbed one that had a little flower, and then you put your name and your address on there, or have it say whatever you want, and then you've got your little stamper, and then it looks like they give you some extra ink for it. That's kind of cool. cupcakes but you know like it's it's not like a regular cupcake liner you guys know what I'm talking about and I got the ones that it looks like it's like vintage paper I've never had these kind of cupcake liners and I just think it makes any kind of like muffin or cupcake look even all the more better right I thought that was adorable. I think this is just in there just to hold, help hold its shape so it doesn't get smushed. But there's like white ones, there's dark ones, there's like you can pink, blue, purple, like whatever you want. Amps up the fanciness. Then you can be walking around like you're a fancy pants. Well, fancy pants. Boop. Oh yeah, I got this for our cat. Well, it's my daughter's cat, but. So anyway, these are great. 
Um, every once in a while I have to buy her a new one because she throws up on them. It's a cat thing. They throw up. Which is what they do. Whatever. If this thing is sitting in the middle of the floor, she'll walk in, go right to it, and then sit on it. Like that's like her spot. So I'm going to get this out because um, my daughter just went back to school. And when my daughter leaves to go back to school, all of a sudden, our cat's name is Angel. Um, for some reason, we call her Mimi. I don't know why I call her Mimi, but Mimi will come in and um, all of a sudden, I'm her number one. And she's like, what are you talking about? You've always been my number one. No, I always love you. She tries to do that. She manipulates me. So I buy her things. Oh, guys, these are cute. Oh my God, I just did it again. I said cute. Okay, let me look up another word for cute real quick. Hold on. Adorable, beautiful, charming, delightful, pleasant, pretty. Okay, so which one should we go with? Okay, these were delightful. No, that doesn't go. These are um, adorable. I like that. Okay, so these are adorable. And they look designer. <laughs> they do. They look, to the untrained eye, you can honestly sit there and tell me. You don't, like, a quick pass. You're like, whoa. Well, you're fancy pants. You're, you've got something designer. And I'd be like, maybe I do. Maybe You don't know. Maybe I, maybe I do. Maybe I don't. But to all of us people that can't decipher between designer and non-designer, like, get some of these. What is it? I don't know. But I got two of them. It's like a little thing to hang off your purse. And what do you put in it? Whatever you want to put in it. Put it onto your your waist or hook it onto your purse. Hook it onto your water bottle just so you've got a little, like to kind of free your hands up if you're, if you've got something that doesn't have pockets, right? That's, so I saw, I'm like, well, for crying out loud, I need one of them and I couldn't decide. It's like, well, which one do I want? Well, I'll just get, I'll just get them both. Okay, so these will drive my haters crazy, but I thought they were really cute. And one of you guys, one of my little subscribers, my little viewers, and you guys always have my back. One of you guys said, hey, did you know that they had the leopard print nails? I'm like, I'm going to look into that. So I looked into it and I got some. These have little bows on them too. And I'm not real hot on the bows. And, ooh, these don't feel very thick. Ooh, these actually feel really thin. Sugar. Darn it. Ooh. So they got the little, um, the leopard print on the tips, and then they have bows. So those little bows, they will snag your hair. Oh, they're cute and everything, right? But um, why did I get them? I don't need them, but I, I, I got them. I wanted to get them. I thought they were a little extra, a little over the top. Life's too short. If I if I uh, if I want to wear them, I'm gonna wear them. <laughs> hmm. What else did I get? What's in this little box? Oh yeah, okay, okay, okay. balloon animals. This isn't. I didn't know if it was gonna come and it was gonna be hollow plastic. This has got some weight. Like you could actually have this be a paperweight. It's kind of like heavy like that. But it's probably like a solid resin, I would think. Then they had one that was kind of cute. It was in the squatting position, like it was relieving itself. <laughs> you can sit right there, little guy. I do recommend that. That it, it is, that's nice. Okay, so then I did get some over-the-top earrings. My mom does make her own jewelry. You guys, make sure to go check out her Etsy account. Um... She hasn't done too much with her channel lately. She's been having some health issues. So, um, but make sure you go over and give her some love and show her some support. Follow her, heart a few of the things that she has for sale. You know, just to kind of show her that you're, you're, you're checking her out and letting her know what you like. Bring a smile to her face. But anyway, she doesn't make things like this, like, um, like that. So I don't feel guilty when I buy it at Timu, okay? 
Um, but anyway, so I saw this. This is like way over the top. Like if you if you're going out, you got like a basic little black outfit on, but you want to pop it to make it look like you know like I'm here to party. A little shiny, little extra cute. Like you can really jazz up an outfit with accessories. So when I saw that, I was like, she's cute. All right, let's open another bag. What do we got? Oh yeah, yeah. I think one of you. And asked me to test out a neck fan, which I thought was perfect because I'm a huge lover of the neck fan. So I have something I can compare it to. So this would be one of those things that would be really fun to do like in, a, in another video where I test this out and review it. So um, yeah, let's get it out there. We can at least look at it. So it's got your little charger cord. It's got a little digital screen on the side. I'd be worried uh, about it sucking in my hair. Here, let me pull my hair up so I don't have it. All of a sudden it just tangles my hair up. Ooh. Oh. So we'll test that out later and I'll compare it to the other one to see like how long it holds its charge and how long does it work? Like when you charge them both, you run them both, like is this one gonna die within 15 minutes? Like, and then you have to charge it for four hours to get 15 minutes of use out of it. Like that's the kind of thing that we kind of need to know. So if this grosses you out, I'm sorry, but I had my daughter, my oldest daughter in, in mind with this. There's a lot of people that love like the whole like popping pimple kind of a thing. So you can get like this little simulator and some people it's like it helps with anxiety like picking. There's this little doll I got her and I've even seen them on, at Timu. I'll show you right here what I'm talking about. Um, but it's like a little doll that's got a whole bunch of but it's like packed full of like tiny little hairs take tweezers and you can pull the little hairs out and one of the bad things about it is one it was like eight or nine dollars and she had all the hairs pulled out of it within 15 minutes and then it was like then that's it like then it's done it's not like you can like reload it and put the hairs back in so you can pull them out more you know what i mean so then I seen this where it's a, a spot popper. You can refill it after you've used it. Like silicone thing and it's got little holes in it. I think, can you guys see it? There, there are holes in there. I mean, it's called pimple pus, but all it is is like beeswax in like oil. That's all it is. I don't know. I, I suppose we can try it. And then if it ends up being a good one, I'll, I'll, I can always order her another one, but we'll test that out. We'll play with it. We gotta have fun with it too. Okay, so here's another one of those things that kind of helps you with uh, anxiety. I've got these little tools, I guess. This is wax. This would be, it feels like a candle, like it's solid. But you get your little tools and then you can scrape away the wax to reveal whatever's inside of it. What do they have inside of there? Kind of looks like maybe there's like a screw inside of it. I don't know, that's kind of weird. Doesn't it look like that it's like a screw? I, I just think that's kind of weird that they would put just a screw inside, but those that get it, get it, and those that don't are like, what do you, what is that? It's a desktop power fan. It says it's air conditioned. I thought we could try that out. You got your little power cord. Three levels. But anyway, um, we'll get that out. We'll, we'll, we'll test that out with the review. I prefer to be a little chilly than a little warm. I don't like being warm like at all. If you're a little chilly, you can always put like a little sweater on, like just you can add layers to help warm up. But there's only so many layers you can take off when you're hot 
and you're trying to cool down because you know you start taking too many layers off and then people start throwing garbage at me right what's this whatever it is it's crushed <laughs> right oh timo oh this is one of those candles Ooh, my my husband's birthday is at the end of the month it's a flower candle it sings happy birthday you light it in the center it rotates and then it like flowers open all every petal i'll show you a picture right here of what it looks like but yeah that'll be kind of cool i hope it works oh did they send me two i didn't order two but i got sent two so that'll be perfect we can review one and then i'll save the other one for his birthday timo i sure hope you didn't charge me for two you charged me for two, Timu. We're gonna have a problem. It's a big one. Oh, what is this? Ooh, this will be f oh. The things I do for you guys, I don't even know. <laughs> I think it's called tens, where it like, like shocks you. <laughs> you guys. We're reading the instructions on this one, right? Like, I. Oh, and they've come in English, so that's good. We're reading the instructions like three or four times before we we try this. It's a tens unit. If you guys don't know what it is, then look it up. Let's see what Timu's version of what it is. It says it's um, used for relieving all kinds of acute and chronic pain which caused by the related activities of daily work, strengthens mus muscle and prevent muscle atrophy. It promotes muscle regeneration for arm, neck, shoulder, back, elbow, waist, abdomen, hip, knee, leg, foot. Hmm. So, boy, that'll be fun to try. I almost didn't get this. I'd be like, no, no, thank you. And I was like, ah, heck, why not? <laughs> so then there's this, this little device. Let you know if your diamond is real or not. Like, how cool would that be? Garage sailing. You come across like a, um, someone that's selling like, costume jewelry it's like well what if that's real diamond they don't know you can get a good deal so that's what this is um so we'll be able to test it out because i do have some jewelry that is real and then i've got jewelry that's not real so we'll be able to play with that to, to see how accurate it is so anyway here's what that is just a little device lets you know if your diamond's real okay so oh so they sent me another, I'm going to have to check my order because I did not order two diamond selectors in one order. They did it to me again. What the heck? But those that have watched my previous Timu unboxings, they did it again. So I ordered these like full-size trivets for like a hot pad when you want to put your your hot pan from the stove onto your counter you put your little pad down there and I ordered full-size ones for my pan and they sent me coasters so I went back on there and ordered full-size ones double tripled quadrupled checked making sure they're the full-size ones and they sent me again the coaster ones so these are going back again I gotta return them again <laughs> anyway what do you do right okay <laughs> so this is reusable toilet paper what reusable what <laughs> I seen on there that they have reusable paper towels, which I think I may have bought that. It might be in here or it's on its way. Um, I've seen reusable maxi pads. I don't know, but 
Is that a good idea? Now we have reusable diapers. Oh, you have your kid do his little thing. You you flush what you can flush, and then the rest you can throw in the wash. Um, so what would be wrong with using reusable paper, uh, toilet paper, right? Um, am I going to use this? No, I'm not going to use this. I wanted to see it on what, like, is it thin? Is it thick? Like, can you just tear up a t-shirt? Like, what, what's the, is it going to soak through? There's questions, right? I, I want to, I want, right? I, I would almost feel like, should we have a separate washing machine for those things? That, that That's some like grubby stuff. We're not just talking about sweaty underwear. We're talking about, right? But let's just say like there's the end of the world. Like, and you don't have somebody supplying you toilet paper at the store that we can all flush down and everything's wonderful and our all of our troubles and our, our issues like get flushed away. What do you guys think? I, I seriously, I want your opinion about reusable toilet paper, reusable maxi pads, and reusable paper towels. I'm all for the reusable paper towels because I use too many paper towels. Like, I'm so quick to just go for that paper towel. I waste a lot of paper towels where I feel like I could do better and use more like washable things, dry your hands on something that you can wash versus just tossing through paper towels. Like that's an area where I feel like I could improve on for the planet, for the budget, for everything, you know. Uh, should we get these out? Let's get them out. Let's, let's, let's touch it. And then they also have white ones. You'd have to make sure you bleach that. Okay. So, I mean, they're, they're soft. The edges where there's um, the stitching, I don't know. Feels like one side, the side that doesn't have the print is a little bit softer than that side. They are pretty thin. I can't see through it. It lets light through, but I can't see through it at all. Um, lots of different prints. What do you guys think of that? It's a good idea, and I know a lot of people would be a, 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 a lot, you know, for this. Bring joy to families around the world. So it says. Okay, so one of my recent videos I had said, well, if they can make cotton baby clothes, why can't they make cotton like adult clothes because every shirt I've ever got from there is polyester and it like makes me crazy and then as soon as I edited that video and released it then I was like I could just search cotton t-shirts and then you guys started filling up my comment section like girl just search cotton t-shirts and it's like yeah, I know, I'm a little slow, but it took me a while, but I got there. And then I started searching cotton t-shirts, and then you scroll all the way, you know, you scroll down quite a bit, and then it'll tell you the material that the shirt's made of, and it'll be like cotton poly blend, you know. Um, so I did get one. This feels nice. And now I'm excited because now I search cotton shirts all the time. Yeah, this is 65% cotton and 35% polyester. And your girl got a Fleetwood Mac t-shirt. So the only thing that's kind of junky with it is like this is, feels like an iron-on um, patch kind of, you know, a little bit. Really excited to try this. I'm really excited, okay? I'm excited. I feel like their shirts, um, all their clothing runs a little small. So anytime I order from Timu with clothes, same with Shein, I always get a size or two bigger than what I normally wear. Then these little night lights, I had picked some up from Amazon that are similar to this. The ones I picked up on Amazon are square. These ones are like the shape of a light bulb. These are perfect for like traveling. You just plug them in like a little USB. So anyway, um, 
I saw these and I'm like, well, I wonder if they're comparable to the ones I got at Amazon. So it's a five pack. <laughs> but this little electric air pump, oh, it takes batteries? No, that's just the, the cord for it. You got a little compartment for the cord. Well, that's nice. But anyway, so we'll try that out and we'll blow up some balloons. Um, I'm in love with their balloon arches that they have. I think they're affordable, they're easy to do. Um, so getting an air pump is super, super nice. So I, I really hope that this works. Um, a cherry petter to pit your cherries. It'll be fun to try to see how well that works. I've never pitted cherries, so. That, that's a whole new experience for me. I didn't, that seems very tedious, but I suppose if you need pitted fresh cherries, is it nice to have a, a pitter? I don't know. Do you get, like, right? Half lashes. I like their half lashes. Um, especially half lashes that come in a clear band. Love that. Because um, sometimes I want a half lash that has a, a dark band um, you're glamming up just a little bit more or I'm going for a, a total natural look with just a half lash but a subtle half lash so I want that clear band so clear band half lashes love it oh did you guys see they had some of that like bee decor I was having like a little picnic this summer I was like hold on let me get my salt and pepper set that's like little bees they're ceramic. Those are cute. Here's one of them. Those are charming. I saw them and I was like, what's that? So it's like a like a stress ball thing. I want to say this is like um like a stress ball. Like you can get a whole pack of them. These are actually really cool. Very cool. You know, some of these things, you, after you've you touch them, you feel like your your hands are kind of slimy. These are like soft feeling. These are very cool. I don't even know how well I, I, I can't even really explain these. These are very entertaining, very calming. It's actually kind of cool. Recommend that. But that's fun. <laughs> More half lashes on a clear band. I'll share my order in the description for you guys. Sometimes I can share my order without any problems and then sometimes I go to share my order and it won't let me. I'll only able to share like some of them but not all of my orders. I don't just do one order. I do multiple orders. You know sometimes they offer you coupons so you get like $10 off when you spend $50 or $30 off when you spend $100. So I, I do my orders in little increments so I can use up the coupons that I have. So when I go to share all of those orders, it doesn't always let me share it for some reason. I don't know why. And I tried calling tech support once. That was a, that, that was, that aged me. <laughs> that aged me. Oh, it's another bee thing. Oh, cute. No. Adorable. Oh, adorable. <laughs> A watering can. Now, this part is plastic. It's not metal. Um, this is like a, like a resin. And then the bees and the flowers are 3D. They are popping out. Um, this is very adorable. Not cute. It's not cute. This isn't cute. It's adorable. It's charming. Like bee. Bee charming. Like charming a bee charmer. You get one. You, get, you guys got it, right? It's charming. <laughs> they had a whole whole bunch of like bee stuff like go on Timu and like search like bee kitchen accessories or whatever I don't know bee something okay I have a fish tank 
I have a 10 gallon fish tank with one goldfish in it. It's a huge goldfish. The thing won't die. Not that I'm wishing that it would, but I've never had a goldfish that has lived this long. It's like eight years old. The fish is like eight years old. With fins, I don't know, I haven't measured her in a while, but I'd say she's getting close to about seven, eight inches. I need to get her a bigger tank. Um, I'm just knowing my luck as soon as I upgrade every, you know, every time I upgrade her to a bigger tank, I'm like, watch, now she'll die. Like, and the, the thingy that I have now, the gravel cleaner where you go in there and it sucks out all of the, like the chunks of the, like old food and like her little poo and stuff that's all over the place. Um, the one I have, I really don't care for and it's actually really frustrating to use. So I seen that they have this one and I thought, well, shoot, I might as well try something better. That might work cat bed. I got this for our outside cat that we have. We had a cat that showed up on our doorstep um, a year and a half ago now, but he can't come in to our house because of our cat that we have in here. Like they want to kill each other. He's our shop cat. We have a shop on our property that's like the size of our house, but he lives out there. So um, I saw they had these nice little beds and actually this is kind of big. I can fold it in half. Just to give him like something, another bed out there, like another location where he could sleep. And these things wash up pretty decent. I think they had one that was smaller than this and then two more that were like bigger. Um, if you guys haven't got those, like get them. These are really nice. Okay, last thing in here and then I'll let you guys go. I don't even know what this is. What is oh, so this is a cat bed for my inside cat. <laughs> this was so cute. Sorry, this was so adorable. So our indoor cat likes to burrow. Like if you have a blanket, she'll go under it. If you have a box, she'll go in it. Like she likes to get like under and in things. So I'd seen this bed that's the shape of a honey pot. It makes it look like it's spilled honey with this. You get a little bit of honey that hangs out. Hopefully it'll stay open. Right? That was cute. Did it again, didn't I? Didn't I? I said cute again. I'm sorry. So it looks like we got some returns that we need to do. Um, not going to say anything. Timo, let's get our poop in a group, okay? I didn't order that. And then I didn't order two diamond testers. But anyway, some of this stuff's going to go back. Some of this stuff needs to get reviewed for another video. And I still have more on its way. I'm surprised it didn't come today. Um, but I, I have like lots more coming. Make sure you guys like the video, comment on the video, subscribe, and share my content. Like share the video, put it on your social media. Send it in a text to a friend like, hey, check out this crazy girl, you know, kind of thing. Um, but yeah, all of that stuff helps my channel. It helps like the YouTube algorithm. Like if, if there's a lot of this interaction where people are commenting, they're liking it, they're subscribing, you're going to my, ch my channel and you're watching maybe another video. Um, it's letting YouTube know that you're liking my content and then they'll show my content to other new people. They'll put it on their, um, like their homepage. So make sure you interact with my video. I really appreciate it. Even if you don't, the fact that you're just here watching, that also helps my channel. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye.